AJ Brooks here with Winter Springs head coach, Coach Dykus. How you doing today, sir? Good. Nice to meet you. Absolutely. Nice meet you. All right. Well, why don't you just tell the folks um, a little bit about the program and what we should expect um, from Winter Springs next year? All right. Well, we're in our second year. Um, I took over uh, last year. I've been coaching in Seminole County for 26 years. Finally got a shot to be a head coach. Um, we're going to be super young this year, uh, but we have a really good class of 2024s mm -hmm. and 2025s, actually. Um, we got a, I brought a couple, five kids with me today. Um, we're just, we're, I had to retool the program. You know, it's like started all over, had to burn it to the ground and, and start up. The kids have been awesome this uh, sp uh, spring so far. We had a, uh, actually we had our first day in pads this morning and got after it from uh, 8 a.m. to 10.30 and the, all the kids were there on time, ready to roll. Yeah, absolutely. Knowing that you do have 20 plus years of coaching experience, um, what are, what are some of the things you, you hope to bring to the program moving forward to help you guys uh, bring that winning culture? I think the biggest thing is the stability. Um, I've been at uh, Winter Springs eight years, and they've had four coaches in eight years. So every two years, a new guy. Every two years, a new guy. And so I think uh, me being in, being in the county that long, um, the, other, the biggest thing that I tell my kids is that, you know, you don't give up on a dream. There's been plenty of times after 26 years I've gone for a lot of head jobs and didn't get it, and I could have taken my ball and went home and done something else. And I just proved to them that if a door closes, then you wait for the next door. And if that door closes, you wait, and you just keep going until the door opens. And you know what? I believe in God, and that was, you know what? This was his plan, and now I, I'm ready. I'm more mature. I'm ready to go. Absolutely. That's a living testimony. Yes, sir. Um, what are, if I was a parent, um, in Seminole County, and I was looking to, to send my son to a school. What separates your program from the next program? What are some of the things that you're going to implement that are, that I would say as a parent? You know what? I want my son to be a part of that program. Well, we're we're going to build build you as a whole person. And I know a lot of coaches have been around. A lot of coaches talk about the grades, but it is a huge thing for me. Um, I'm in Skyward, which is how you can tell grades. Um, I'm on that. Um, we are going to recruit you if you're able to be recruit. Um, we're going to look for a fit for you. Um, right now, we don't have a D1 kid, but I brought a kid with us right now who's in Ivy League. We've had, he's been uh, courted by Columbia. We got Penn coming in on Monday. Um, it's not just about football. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm, a, I, I'm from old school, I'm gonna treat it real, I'm gonna love you really hard, but I'm gonna be on you really hard. I'm gonna hold you accountable for, what, for your actions on and off the field. So it's, it, football is, is a way to get somewhere, but eventually that's gonna run out, and so you better have another avenue that you can make it in life, not just, I'm gonna go to the NFL, because we all know that's not gonna happen, or even college, that's not gonna happen. Absolutely. Well, I definitely uh, I respect the mindset and um, wish you best of luck uh, moving forward, Coach. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah.